In this video, I want to go through an assembly that I've been working on with Welding Empire. So you got to check out the Welding Empire channel. I think you can even get the plans from uh, Welding Empire. And in this, let's do a quick assembly in the A2 Plus workbench. I don't think I'm going over anything special that I haven't before, but uh, if, if you've never seen this before, this might be helpful. I have some other videos on assembling using A2 Plus as well. I'd like to get to A4 pretty soon, so we'll see how that goes in the future. Uh, so in A2 Plus, of course, we add a part by clicking this button and it will ask us to save our file. After we've saved uh, our assembly file, we can add parts. So here's my first part that I've added. Now let's add a second. All right, so for this, I know that I want this face and this face to be coplanar. So as I hold control and highlight both of these, and as I talk about holding control, I'll add in my keyboard monitor. There it is. Um, I can choose this coplanar uh, co uh, relation and accept then this face and this face. We want those to be on the same level. And finally, I know that I want this very end point, if I can select it, there we are, to lie on this back plane. And we'll choose the point on plane constraint. Let's do the same thing with another part. And this will be the same part that we're importing, part number two. We're going to go here to here, here to here, and same thing, endpoint on this plane, and we should be fully constrained. We can always double check that with our degrees of freedom, and I'll add in part number one once more. Now this came in at an uh, interesting orientation, so you can always just mate as usual and this will reorientate itself, or if you wish, you can adjust by going to move the selected part. And actually, let's move it around a different axis. There we go. And that's a little bit more intuitive for mating. So we'll click this top face and this top face. We'll make them coplanar. We'll go to Here to here, coplanar. And then there to there, point on plane, right? So we've done the same method of constraints on all three parts we've imported to our base part. But this gets a little bit more exciting now if we add in some more unique parts uh, for that. Let's add, say, parts four and seven. There's part four. And there's part seven. Excellent. So for part four, I also want to reorient it in the same way. Makes it a lot easier to keep track of. That's how I'd like to work that. And part seven. Now from here to here, we'll accept being coplanar. 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 Now we want to set these a certain distance um, off this face. So I'm going to choose coplanar, but then choose an offset distance. I'm going to say 34.925. And that looks about right. I'll do the same over here.
Excellent. Next. Uh, let's try adding part number six. All right. So we'll go to coplanar. We'll flip direction and accept. And I know when I assemble it, I want this face to butt against that face. So we'll choose coplanar and uh, perhaps flip direction. That's much better. So we'll accept that. Then I want to have a particular offset here. We'll grab from here to here, coplanar, and we'll go with 85.725, and we'll uh, flip the sign. And that looks right to me, so we'll accept that. Next, I can insert part five. There it is, I lost it for a second. I'll just highlight this from the tree and select move. And part five actually uh, fits pretty nicely there. So we'll constrain it. Also, I can check my degrees of freedom if I wish. Everything is still fully defined except for part five. We'll constrain that to make that butted up against there. I want to make sure that these two faces are coplanar. And then I want to have a gap here of four inches. So we'll offset that. Uh, four times 25.4 should be 101.6. And we'll flip the sign like that. So this is a, a welding trolley, if I didn't mention that earlier. This holds a welder and I believe a tank of gas. Uh, let's go with inserting uh, part number eight. By the looks of it, uh, after talking to Welding Empire, he's really improved uh, the design for how this functions as compared to some of the traditional things you can get, which is pretty exciting. Let's go with coplanar here. And then from here to here, same gap. 101.6. We're good there. Next, let's add a vertical piece to uh, mount the tank to. And I believe that that is part number nine. So we'll open that up. Now I know I want this face to be against this face. And I want this face to be against this face. And then I know that I want this point to be offset from this plane, so we'll choose point on plane. We'll give it an offset of 174.625. And that should be pretty close. I've got uh, four more parts to add, and that should go pretty quick. I want to add part number 10. This is one of four. Coincident and flip direction here. It's better. I'll make that coplanar and flip direction. We know we want to butt up against there. Next. We'll add in another part 10. There. And there. And there. Two parts to go, we want to add some plates in here. And I believe these plates should be item three.
go coplanar. There. And there. Check the degrees of freedom. And it's all zero. So that is the Welding Empire Welding Trolley. Now there are some things that go on here additionally, like casters and some other details that Welding Empire is going to uh, be working out on their channel. So check out their channel. This is an awesome assembly. I hope you enjoyed it. And let's work on this a little bit more in the next video. See you then.